ah, I gotta rehab, I gotta rehab. Okay, don't get too hyped, don't get too hyped, don't get too hyped. <laughs> Better be some bitch. Shall we turn the corner and switch? <laughs> Looks like baby. Ooh! Hey! Ooh, okay, Jay! Okay, Jay! Throw me something, Zay! Shattered my reality, dude. Oh, baby. Oh, that shit is not regular. All right, don't get too hyped. Don't get too hyped. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, okay. That whole team flight brothers too. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going dunking. That's it. Please help. Okay, me. so everyone's gonna post it. Okay, every. Let's do it. Look. <laughs> Listen up. Listen. The hit brainiac. About to get copyrighted, but <laughs> I had to do it, you know. Look. Storm coming, they calling him so Dorian. What a name is that, but I can't be ignoring him. Rain coming, wind coming, getting breezy in this bitch. Trees falling down, I gotta move my whip. Yo, but I got it insured. That's what I do, yo, you heard. Yo, off the top, off the noggin. About to spit these bars, Robin. Robin Hood, no sidekick here, sidekick there. I can't text her, that is with the green text. No, I'm team iPhone, I cannot reply with a sext. Damn, now I'm using all emojis. Get my emotions out, bro, that's what they told me, man. This is hard to admit, but you know I gotta spit for the podcast off the dome. Do you wanna know the hottest? Oh, I'm flame, spitting on flame, blue flame, orange flame, you know it's the same. Damn, they wanna see that. Put it on a YouTube, yo, go peep that. Hit the notification bell, hit it ding ding. Next thing you know, <laughs> my phone blowing up, that's a ring ring. Damn. Storm Dorian, go somewhere else. Rain, rain, go away, we don't need you in my help. Damn, you ain't helping nothing Taking care of my plans, bro, I was up to something Next thing you know, I'm trying to get back on the road Trying to get my blow up on YouTube Yeah, views coming soon October's very own, no, it's in December too That's my birthday I'm a motherfucking Sagittarius Yo, who's hearing this? Nobody is, cause nobody listening Except for my silly psychos They know how this goes And next thing you know, I'm in the right mode And then I keep it going, last airplane mode I miss my connection Connection, but we were connecting touchy Philly. I'm mean, we feeling it, but now we touching down six points. I'm talking inches now, cause now we in the end zone. Where do we end? I'm in my zone, I can't end. That's my end zone. Damn, fuck man. I could keep it going like I'm flowing like a river. Bodies of water, lakes, maybe deliver. No, no UPS today. It's tomorrow, Sunday, plus a hurricane's on its way. Damn. I can't step with it, <laughs> got my heart beating fast, I'ma flip with it, damn. Flipping like a skateboard, Rob Deer deck. Now I'm on ridiculousness, that's up next. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. Can I end it strong or do I end it with a flare? A flare is a spark when I pop it in the dark, bro. You know what's coming, bro. I'm like a shark, fins on my back, bro. You see it on the top of the surface, but I'm going deep with it, bro. You need to learn this. Yeah, I'm done. Sorry. What's good? That's how we start the podcast. I'm really a fan of how Drake does his... And his I'm going to write something like that. I got to write something. What's good? I hope you enjoyed that. What the fuck was that? I want to do that more. I want to I wanna write like a parody one where I write actual bars that sound good, but talk like super emotional or whatever. But I don't know what the fuck that was. That was fun though. That's what it's about. Enjoy more, bro. I got fucking TikTok popping. I got Instagram popping. I got everything popping. I know it's hard to keep up with me with all the things I do, but I'm I'm the one doing it. You just follow along. All you gotta do, you want you want to know two words? All you gotta do is two words. Enjoy more. That's it. All you gotta do is enjoy. Helps me out when you enjoy. Huh? What kind of what kind of relationship is that? That's amazing. All right. 
What's good? Welcome to Dunk Life Daily, where we suck you in with the dunks and we spit you out with the fucking enjoyment. Um, that's it. We got a new dunk alert. I'm going to watch it right now. Isaiah friggin' Rivera doing a tomahawk behind the back. Made it look fucking cakewalked. Here it is. I'm going to watch it real quick. Just absolutely disgusting. Where is it? So he dribbles, dribbles, dribbles. Goes up with it. And he just like... Oh. Made it look way too easy. His, his hand speed's unbelievable. His hand technique is unbelievable. He practices it all the time. He preaches low rims. It's, it's evident. And he jumps really, really high. Anyway, congrats, bro. That was really awesome. I also did a little reaction video, if you saw that already, like a parody, a little skit thing. I love making those skits. What I want to talk about is how fun that was. I don't want to talk about that. I'm just saying that like, I had that idea last night because I was scrolling. It was on every page, and it was funny, and I just started my rehab mode. That's what this podcast is about. It's about my journey, whatever the fudge I want. And uh, yeah, it's really hard to stay cool when your boys hit in new dunks and I could have been there to make... I know that vi- it could have went more viral if I was there because you know I'm the viral face of vi- viralness. My, I have a viral face. I have an infected face, I guess that means. But you get the point. Um, it's really hard to stay in my zone of rehab mode, to stay, stay cool when he's hitting new dunks. All I want to do is new dunks. And I see comments like, oh, five years, you haven't progressed. I sound like Kermit the Frog. I understand, bro. It takes me time, bro. I'm not good. If anything, it should inspire you more that I'm fucking still going. I know most of you are. I always, I always harp on the one negative comment, but we work in. I jumped my highest I have ever done this year, which took me like two years to gain a friggin' like half an inch. So it takes time. That's what today's actually wanted to be was that rehab motivation. Stay in your lane. Stay thinking long term. I'm jumping my best ever. I'm feeling my leanest ever. And all I need is this hamstring healthy so I could run full speed. Once I can do that, I'll be the most athletic I've ever been. And I can jump off one foot. I can jump off the dribble. I can dunk in games. I'll have crazy cardio. I know so much more about my body that if I let this hamstring heel figure it out, it's just another notch in my belt of what I know about my body and how to keep it healthy. Because before this was my knee, it took me like freaking literally like a year and a half, maybe two years to understand my knee to get it healthy. Now it's like gold and I could do so much. I feel so good ju- ju- jumping, even when I'm like in so much pain right now. I jumped my highest on that 10 foot rim. I couldn't even believe I was jumping that high. Feeling really good. So you got to stay thinking long term. Really try to be clear like away from your emotions. Like what should you do? What like the end goal is like flying in game. And you got to remember that like take just just commit to like it's hard. Like for me, I commit to two weeks. I committed to two weeks. I've already done a, almost a week. So I'm going to commit to one more week, see how it feels. If it's still not good, I'm going to keep doing more. But give yourself a shorter period of time so you could try to make it happen. It's like if you commit to saying I'm going to take off a year, it's really hard. But if you say I take off one day, it's a lot easier. Just like I talk about the motivation in the past. If you listen to the old podcast episodes, make your motivation chunkable that it makes it easy on your brain to accept because <laughs> it's really hard. Rehab mode is really hard, but I'm here with you. I'll show you what I do. And you got me. You got me to entertain you while you do it. I'm in rehab mode. You'll see what it takes and you'll see long term. For those that are there following along closely, you'll see when I'm flying because that's my goal. I'm never going to fucking give up. No giving up, bro. I, I go up, but I never give up. It's two different things, but they use the word up. And now it's the opposite, but they keep it popping, bitch. And that's what we do. I go opposite with the plants because I'm in rehab mode. I got to stay off my lance. My, my lance is my right ass for some reason. You get the point. It's hard. You got to do what you can. So I jumped Monday. I'm going to take off from jumping. I'm going to do like just springy jumps. That you, I'm going to post an Instagram about it, probably on my YouTube as well. I'm just going to do like very stiff leg jumps where I'm barely bending. Like I barely go into a squat because I'm laying off the hamstring, but I can keep my like knees and my Achilles getting some action. And then I'm also doing isometrics for my hamstring, get some blood flow in there. But even my isometrics, I got to go to like the very beginner level. Like I can't even do like reverse plank where your legs are straight. I got to do basically like a glute bridge because my that's how bad it hurts. So it's like you got to go all the way back to the ground zero and I'm in it. I'm in it for the long run. I'm in it for the progress. I'm down. We got to do it. And I, I appreciate everyone that stays along and sees this. Cause if you saw this past years, like jumping my high or the past video about a month ago, it just type in 2019 highest dunk, Steven Sally, you'll find it. I was jumping my best ever. And that was after like so much months of rehab. And I got like a few weeks of like peak fun, but that's how it goes. But I'm hoping that after this, I stay healthy for a long time. But yeah, that's the goal. It's going to be crazy when I jump super high and you'll see like years and years of years of struggle. So that's fucking nuts. I mean, should I give up? No, I'm not giving up. I'm only going up. (laughs) So yeah, man, I love making content. I love making this podcast. What else did I want to mention today? Um, 
Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's nothing like a hurricane, though, to like raise your awareness. You're like, oh god. So like, I was had all these plans, and next thing you know, fucking hurricane. I can't even live. You have to move. You have you have to literally physically move. Oh, the whole a huge storm is taking over the whole state. Rain and wind and destroy everything. Okay. Well, like at one point, you're like, oh, do I dunk? That's the other thing. It's a perfect timing for the hurricane because I kind of the gyms might be closed. I don't even have freaking gas for my car or food. You know, I got to live off beans. Storm Dorian. I meant to play this. Storm Dorian. Exactly. He's coming soon. So like now he's swerving up. It's You can't even predict this shit. I don't even know where you go. Bro, I don't know. But I'm going to be swimming. Anyway, have a great day. Um, I'm going to make a video soon probably about my progress, kind of like Isaiah did. Check out Isaiah's latest game dunks. They're ridiculous. Um, I posted on my story to my Instagram. Follow me along if you... If you, if you listen to this podcast, follow all my social media because that's where I post all my different content. I know it's hard to keep up, but like I said, God damn it, I'm producing everything. I'm doing all the fucking work. It's so much fun. You can't keep up with me because it's what I love to do. So it's like I never get bored and I never get sick of it. And it's not, not work. It's so much fun when I post something and you guys enjoy it. So I posted some funny videos last night. TikTok is absolutely absurd, but it's perfect for my brain. It's like instant. It's just like, what the fuck? I was brushing my teeth last night and almost made that whole video. If you watch my TikTok by myself, maybe I'll put it at the end of this podcast. But I made that video literally, not by myself, by my one hand. Like I recorded it brushing my teeth and I put the song on and then I typed it. It was like all of my left hand while I'm brushing my teeth. I literally made a TikTok. If it blew up, that would have been hilarious if it got like my best 100,000 views or something. But TikTok's fun because it's just fucking nonsense and it's for pure enjoyment. Like Chris D'Elia says, silly goose time all the time, baby. Let's go. Having a lot of fun. I'm really honing in on who I am and I'm having the most fun ever. So I hope you guys are enjoying too. And that's what it's about. So have, have a great Saturday. This is, I could have made this super long. I don't know why, but maybe this time off I have with the hurricane, I can make some longer podcasts. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want to see. Progress video coming soon. I think I'm going to do similar to what Isaiah did, 30 to 40 inches because people always ask me, how did you start? How did, I tried to do a dunk series. Nobody watched it. Uh, nobody really like understood it, I guess, or it, it, didn't, it didn't answer all the questions. So I have more questions to answer and I'll tell you what I did from 30 to 40 or maybe my whole journey. We'll see. But I'm making content and I'm loving it and I'm understanding well, how to make it that I love. Okay, enough. That's it. On this day in history, baby. Almost forgot. Let's go. August 31st, we're almost done with August already, 14, 1142, possible date for establishment of the Iroquois with the aid of Hiwata and Diganawada. Well, that's something we definitely should know. 1997, Diana, Princess of Wales, dies in a car crash, road tunnel dam. That's tough. I mean, she's, whew. That was a big day. That was five. 1993, 50th Film Festival, Shortcuts, directed by Robert Altman in Three Colors Blue, directed by, awarded the Golden Lion. Today in sports, 1947, New York Giants set record of, for home runs, 183. 1999, today in music, Fly, fifth studio album by the Dixie Chicks. Fuck yeah, Dixie Chicks. Whatever. Best country album. Okay, now let's look at the comments for the dunk lifer of the day, the silly psycho of the day. Um, uh, uh, the, Amanda Castillo, it's, it was his, your husband, <laughs> said, energy's crazy. Coffee in your hamstring is a problem. Get rid of it for a week. He was saying that the acidity and the mucus from the coffee. I don't know. I looked that up last night a lot. I couldn't find anything about it. So if you guys have any other comments, but Fate che Cheer said, I'm so early. What the fuck? The other thing about coffee is that it, uh, it helps with anti-inflammatory. It has some antioxidants and different coffees have anti-inflammatory properties. I think it might be helping and keeps blood flow. I don't know. I love coffee. I don't want to cut it out. And if I found anything about it, I would have, I would have tried it, but it, I don't think that's anything. And I know a lot of people who are performing that have had injuries and have never said anything about coffee. I know a lot about diet and I've, I've done the gluten thing and that helped my inflammation, but I don't know. Anyway, um, Alex Kuhn says the vert is insane. Let's go. Okay. So I'm not dunking for about a week. That means more content, better content, more insanity. Let's go. Have a good one. Um, and if I see to Dorian, I'll say what's up. And I'll also say, toodaloo. That's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh. Fresh off the runway.